today, I'm here to remind you, September is Suicide Awareness Month. It's a good time to check on the mental health well-being of those we care for and those we love, but it's also a great time for self-reflection. Remember, mental health and suicide don't discriminate based on profession, age, gender, race, or sexual identity. So let's lead by example. Let's make our own mental health a priority. Let's start living and not just existing. Let's do this. I was struggling with anxiety and panic attacks. I couldn't even go into class at times. Ever since I decided to get help, my anxiety decreased extremely. This would not have been possible if I didn't take a chance and get the help that the school offers. Hi everyone. I'm here to tell you that it's okay to not feel okay. We have a name for that in medicine. It's called normal. And so it's perfectly normal to feel anxious, concerned, especially in the middle of a pandemic. So if you have concerns, please talk to your family, talk to your friends, reach out to the NYITCOM Center for Behavioral Health, for example. Um, but this is a time for all of us to stay connected in the middle of a pandemic. Um, take care and stay safe. I never liked the idea of medication. It made me feel like I wasn't smart. It's only after I read the other testimonials that I considered getting help. With medication and therapy, my grades, focus, and happiness has significantly improved. It's okay to have ADHD. Don't deny yourself the treatment you need and deserve. Good mental health is not an option. It's essential. I had been struggling with anxiety and depression for about 10 years. No one would have guessed it. I was anti-medicine, thinking it was for crazy people. Seeking out help changed my life for the better. Hi, good morning. I'm Dr. Patrick O'Shaughnessy, Executive Vice President, Chief Clinical Officer for Catholic Health Services of Long Island. And I'm also an alumni uh, from NYITCOM from the class of 1999. I'm speaking to you today about wellness. It's so important at this point in your career is with all the stress and perhaps anxiety you're under that you realize one in four Americans may actually exhibit severe signs and symptoms of depression, anxiety, or stress. And it's so important if you're feeling this way to seek help. Many times people feel by asking for help, it's a sign of weakness. It's actually a sign of strength. Take care, be well, recognize signs and symptoms of depression, seek treatment early. I had ADHD before starting medical school. I did not want to be associated with the stigma of being on medication. After coming to the clinic and getting placed on the right medication, my symptoms are managed and my academics are very successful. Hi, my name is Dr. Hollis Sabri and I'm an emergency medicine physician and an ICOM graduate. In a time when society and healthcare systems are pushed to an extreme with COVID, it is necessary to recognize the importance of taking care of ourselves. Suicide Awareness Month is crucial to the health and well-being for each of us. There are many avenues of support, including support groups on social media like mine, Physician Moms Group. There are resources that each of our medical schools, state medical societies, and our specialty organizations offer. And don't forget, there's a national helpline as well. We are here to help. I was a second year medical student. I was reluctant to seek help. People close to me convinced me to try. My only regret is not coming in sooner. Hi, I'm Dr. Bill Blasey. I'm the Associate Dean for Academic Affairs and I'm an alumni of NYTCOM class of 2005. I think it's really important to know that it's okay to ask for help when you need it. There's always someone around that's gonna be willing to offer that helping hand and get you through a tough time. And so if you ask for help, they're gonna help you out. I know personally that I did that when I was a medical student and that's how I made sure that I was successful getting through medical school and being able to take care of patients and care for others. So I just hope that you feel safe and comfortable to do the same if you need it. With graduation around the corner, the pressure of getting a job, passing the boards and more made my anxiety extremely high. I would cry and get panic attacks often. With the right medication and therapy, I feel like a new person. Seek help regarding your mental health. As the fall term is just beginning, remember, mental health and physical health are completely interdependent. Choose something that you love to do and just do it. Cycle, swim, walk, or jog. Find time for you.
I had some relationship problems before school started and had been looking for a psychiatrist but had trouble finding one. NYITCOM had one right on campus. I got the help I needed and can honestly say I have never felt better. Asking for help is not a sign of weakness. It's a sign of strength. I had been diagnosed with OCD prior to medical school and was worried about getting treatment because of the stigma of mental illness. But I took a chance and after being evaluated and placed on the right medication, my OCD symptoms are so much better. I encourage anyone who is struggling to definitely reach out. You are not alone. Hi, I hope this finds you well. September is Suicide Awareness Month. And with this, I want to encourage you to be mindful of your mental, physical, and spiritual well-being, and also remind you that you are not alone. It is difficult to anticipate the demands of medical school. Reaching out for help when resources are available is never shameful and an important skill. It may become the most important decision of your career. We're here to support you. It's hard to put yourself first when we're studying so much, but you need to be healthy yourself before helping others, and mental health is a huge part of that. Hello. September is Suicide Awareness Month. It's time to reflect on the mental health well-being of those we care for and those we love. Mental health, cardiac health, preventive health is all part of how we take care of our patients and ourselves. Please lead the way by making your own mental health a priority. Healers need healing too.